Mario Belanger, 61 years old. We're joined now from Ottawa by one of his close friends, Liberal Senator Jim Munson. Mr. Munson, great to have you on this morning. Thanks for this. Uh, good morning, Todd. It's a pretty sad day for us here. It really is, and our condolences. You knew Mariel for a long time. Tell us a little bit about him. Well, he a uh, fierce uh, fighter for francophone rights in Ontario. He, he was from Mattawa, a small town in uh, northern Ontario, and I always looked at Mariel and said, from Mattawa to Ottawa. Hmm. Uh, a gentleman politician, uh, won many, many elections but never forgot his roots. Uh, and when I say a fierce fighter for francophone rights, uh, it was very important for Muriel Boulanger here in this city where he single-handedly, I would think, uh, saved uh, a French-speaking hospital called the Montfort Hospital, which was a big hospital in this town and still is, but it might have lost it and uh, worked with groups to uh, have the Beechwood Cemetery here in, the, in this town become a national cemetery, which we, we don't have one like Arlington and, and Washington. But more, more the person, uh, he just was a, a kind, good man and a good constituency person and would have made a, an incredible speaker because, uh, Todd, he understood Parliament. You know, you knew him on a personal level. We knew him as an MP, of course, and all the work that he did. You, uh, Senator Munson, must have so many different stories uh, along the way of what he was like outside of the House, just one-on-one. -on -one. One on one, uh, it was just a recent story. Can you imagine a person being diagnosed with ALS at the end of November and he came into my office and we were in tears and we talked about it, but he didn't want to die, he wanted to live. And two months later in February of this year, there we are on the road to South Africa with the Canada-Africa Parliamentary Association of which he was the co-chair. And with his walker, with his wheelchair, through Heathrow to travel halfway around the world to meet other parliamentarians and those involved in Canadian projects. He was, it was a walk of courage, uh, like I described the walk of courage he had walking through the Hall of Honour the day that he was speaker for a day. That's the Muriel Boulanger I got to know, Todd, in the sense that I was a journalist for 35 years and once worked at CTV, but the, you make friends with your crews and people when you're on the road and after you've done the day's work. Well, that's what happened with myself and Muriel Boulanger. That's when I got to know the spirit of the man, the humanity of the man. And it's those kinds of trips on those road trips is where you really get to know a person well. And uh, I got to know him well. And Senator Munson, I want to ask you as well about this last act. I mean, he was in Parliament for 21 years, which shows you sort of the scope of everything that he saw, witnessed, and was a part of. But changing the lyrics of O Canada to make them more gender neutral, how important was that? Extremely important. It's uh, here we are uh, in 2016, and he believed in inclusiveness and believes in women's rights and felt it was about time that we had a gender neutral. A national anthem it's pretty easy to change it is now going to come before us in the senate it did go through its emotional roller coaster ride in the house but it's not law yet and i feel it's important for myself and other senators to take a good look at this bill and to have the debate about it because there are views on both sides of the fence on this but in this day and age uh Muriel boulanger's bill is not only a good bill it's a great bill because it deals with the inclusive nature of this country so i sincerely hope uh, if senators are watching this morning, that we can get this done before Christmas and in that way honor Muriel Boulanger, a good man. Jim Munson is a senator, of course, in Canada and also a lifelong friend of Muriel Boulanger talking to us about the passing of Muriel Boulanger at the age of 61. Senator Munson, thank you for coming on CTV, coming back on CTV. Really appreciate having you here. Thank you very much, Todd.